The experiment will be divided into three parts. The reaction, washing and purification of the product. These are the chemicals to be used in this experiment. Measure the amount needed and transfer both chemicals into a round bottom flask. Measure sulfuric acid in a volumetric cylinder and pour into a conical flask. Cool the acid in an ice bath. All corrosive chemicals are found in the fume hood. Carefully measure the needed chemicals using volumetric cylinder. Using a pasture pipette, add cold sulfuric acid in small portions into a round bottom flask containing ethanol and acetic acid. Continuously swirl the round bottom flask while adding the sulfuric acid to ensure a thorough mixing. Boiling stones must be added when heating organic liquids in the round bottom flask. Then, assemble the apparatus for the following reflux process. Always attach the rubber tubing first to the condenser before assembling the distillation setup. The reflux duration only begins when the mixture starts to boil. Reflux the mixture for 30 minutes. The reaction mixture is left to moderately boil for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, remove the thermal heater and allow the boiling mixture to settle for 10 to 20 seconds. Then, change the apparatus to a distillation setup. Remove the condenser and attach the adapter to the round bottom flask. Follow the correct sequence of assembling a distillation apparatus. The assembly begins by attaching the adapter to the round bottom flask. Next, assemble the condenser. Attach the adapter to the end of the condenser as highlighted in blue. Insert a thermometer into a region within the adapter and place a beaker below the fraction collector as shown here. Add boiling stones to the mixture before starting the reflux. Turn on the pipe water and ensure that water enters from the bottom of the condenser and 
exits at the higher end of the tube. Ensure the thermometer's mercury bar is positioned at the junction where the adapter meets the condenser. Switch on the thermal heater to begin the distillation. Observe the reaction mixture, temperature and the distillate which exits the condenser. Distill two-thirds of the total volume of the mixture into a beaker or a conical flask. Collect the right amount of distillate in the beaker. Switch off the thermal heater to stop the distillation and move it away from the round bottom flask. Proceed to the next step. The distillate undergoes a two-step washing process involving rinsing in 20% sodium carbonate followed by calcium chloride solution. The calcium chloride solution is prepared by dissolving 10 grams of calcium chloride in 12 milliliters of distilled water. The solution is then used to treat the distillate in the second washing step. For the first washing, carefully pour the distillate into the separating funnel. Add 20% sodium carbonate solution into the separating funnel. Observe the liquid layers form. Shake the separating funnel and open the valve until gas is no longer produced. Let the separating funnel stand for a while before opening the cap. Observe the two liquid layers form. Run off the lower aqueous layer. Leave the upper layer in the separating funnel and proceed to the next step. Then, wash the organic layer with calcium chloride solution.
Repeat the same steps in the first washing. Repeat the shaking and depressurization cycles until the liberation of gas stops. Leave the separating funnel to stand for a while before opening the cap. Observe the liquid layers before and after shaking the separating funnel. Run off the lower aqueous layer. Pour the upper layer into a clean conical flask. Dry the collected upper organic layer over a drying agent. This can either be anhydrous magnesium sulfate or calcium chloride. Observe when the drying agent comes into contact with the liquid product. Surplus water causes the drying agent to clump. Add more drying agent until clumps are no longer visible. Let it stand for 10 minutes before proceeding to the purification step. Weigh an empty valve with the cap on and record the weight. Filter the organic liquid product through a filter paper straight into a suitable sized round bottom flask. A few pieces of boiling stones to the round bottom flask. Ensure that the rubber tubings are fixed to the condenser before setting up the distillation apparatus. Assemble the distillation setup again, beginning by clamping the round bottom flask. Take note of the setup sequence as shown earlier. Switch on the thermal heater to begin the distillation. Observe the thermometer readings during the process. During the distillation, record the temperature when the thermometer settles between 76 to 77.5 degrees Celsius. Use a pre-weighed empty vial to collect the condensed ethyl acetate product. Record the boiling point of the liquid when the temperature remains constant as shown here. Continue to collect the product, leaving the condenser at this constant temperature. Stop the distillation 
when the round bottom flask is empty. Make sure to collect all liquids leaving the condenser in the weight vial. Weigh the pure product with the vial cap on and record the weight. Calculate the product weight using this equation.